Hello everyone. We are cold over here. Over the holidays, we were just getting some projects done. We started putting the roof on the bathroom back when it was quite warm outside. We sort of started moving into our shed because we got our flooring laid down. Here are the floors. We've been waiting so long for this moment. We also got a couch, which is really exciting because we haven't had really a comfortable place to sit since moving to our land. And we also brought a chair from our house in Nashville that will be recovered in the future. I actually installed a outlet on the outside of our home, shed, whatever you want to call it. Cut a hole in the house because we are installing one of these so we can easily plug our generator in. Inside, we've been having a extension cord go in through the door, which causes a lot of problems. So, I'm very excited about this. Okay. We're gonna push it in here. And then I have some screws to attach on here. All right, there we go. So simple. We're gonna save us a lot of trouble. And most recently, I installed the wood stove last night and I will be doing a whole video about that installation. Um, it will probably come out after this video, but I definitely am going to give you all the tips I have and um, kind of talk about the experience we had installing that. So now that you're caught up, let's talk about the reality of winter that has just very abruptly uh, sunken in over here on our homestead. While this is so beautiful, it's just really cold. Um, I think right now it says it feels like it's 19 and while we've actually slept through, um, we've had a night that got down to 19, we've never been that cold in the daytime and that's kind of a side note. But we actually tried to sleep in our shed last night for the first time and we got our stove going and we don't have insulation yet. So we really could not get warm. Now I will say we both ended up getting pretty warm under a lot of blankets. Like Casey had like four blankets. I think I had three and I had a coat um, as a blanket, but it wasn't... Um, comfortable per se like the sleeping was fine but you know you have to stop sleeping at some point you have to get up and do things and it is really cold in there and while i could sit right next to the stove and feel some warmth like any it, you get a little bit away from the stove and it is still really cold not as cold as it is outside our reality right now is um being bundled up being cold um we actually still have the camper so we went back into the camper this morning um and turned on the generator and you are using the heat from that like we have before um but it has been so warm here this has just been very um sudden i think um something that i would like to talk about is just kind of the reality of moving out into the middle of nowhere and starting your homestead from scratch and not even having a place to live just kind of how time consuming and sometimes overwhelming and expensive and all these things that it is that I don't know that are talked about as much. Don't get me wrong, we did not go into this and I don't think many people will go in to buying a piece of land and moving on to it and starting from scratch thinking, oh, this is gonna be cheap and easy and fast. We definitely 
never thought that. We always knew there would be tons and tons of steps to get um, kind of the infrastructure started to even have a place to live that is warm. We always knew that was gonna take a lot of work and a lot of time, but we are now just in the position where it is cold and we need a lot of things and it's just become very real. All the things that we've known just are all kind of coming together at this very moment. So we have some decisions to make, um, which all we do is make decisions and it is honestly, it just gets so exhausting. But um, we're kind of trying to figure out what we can do to warm the tiny home um, for the time being. So we are gonna put insulation up but it's not that easy. In order to put the insulation up, you've got to wire where your electricity is gonna be and install basically all your electricity. On our roof, we have to do some special things so that in the summer, when it is really hot out, we are able to keep the roof dry from condensation. And that's a whole other thing. And we won't even be doing that till the spring. And then you get to put the insulation in and then you have to put your um, whatever, wall material you decide to use that's when you go ahead and put that on which means you have to decide what type of wall material you're going to use because we haven't decided that yet um we do know in the kitchen we're going to do beadboard because we could paint that and it'll just be a really quick and cheap way to get something up instead of like tiling tiling is a lot of work and i do like the way it looks but i also um, like the way beadboard looks in certain situations. So I think that that's probably what we're gonna do on the kitchen wall, but we still don't even know what we're doing on the long walls. We wanna do wood on the ceiling, but we don't know if it's in the budget. And before or after or during all of that, we have to close in the underneath of the house because it's just open. So it's just cold air is coming in from the like the floors are just so cold uh, something i forgot to mention is that before you do any of that you've got to install your windows and we don't even have all of our windows yet so we're kind of trying to decide if we go ahead and just wait like do everything once up at a time so wait till we get our windows and then we'll put all the windows in then we'll run all the electricity then we'll do all the insulation or if we need to do it in pieces where we're like okay we're going to do the kitchen wall so the kitchen wall we'll install the windows because we actually do have those windows um run electricity insulate put the beadboard up what seems like would be the most efficient time wise and money wise would be to do everything in order so all windows at one time but that one takes time and as you may know weather really does play into our projects when it's this cold outside we just can't do any kind of work on the outside um which is fine because we can do stuff on the inside however it's not that warm in there so um and if it's raining like we can't be cutting windows out and installing those we need it to be dry and it has not been dry for like a week and a half here because it's been raining on and off and it may not rain for like half a day but it's not enough for it to dry out and now there's snow and so it's like slushy so we have a lot of things to think about i can hear a woodpecker out here and i'm trying to find it i really can't see it and also casey got binoculars for christmas so i'm trying to talk her into coming out here so we could look because there's a lot of little birds hopping around and since it's all white, you can really see everything. All right, it is time for me to go get warm and then it'll be time for us to do some work. But um, I know that was a lot. I talked a lot, but I just kind of want to give a whole big picture here. Um, Everything is really pretty out here. I mean, nature is awesome. And uh, we love being here. But it is hard most of the time. Uh, more than not, it's really hard.
you know, we have been having a hard time getting any warmth from our wood stove. And our neighbor stopped by this morning to check how we were doing because we got like nine inches of snow yesterday. Um, I think he just wanted to make sure we were warm enough and had enough wood. And I kind of told him about our wood stove problems. And he seems to believe, because he doesn't have, he has a, his house is about actually as big as ours. And he doesn't have um, a big stove either. And he's like, you should be getting more warmth from your stove. So anyhow, even without, the insulation. even without it being insulated and what thought I had and what, what he actually also said was that, you know, those like bell tents, like we have people have, you know, those canvas tents and they get those stoves for those wood stoves for the canvas tents and that will keep them warm. And that's no insulation. Um, so that is, I'm like, yeah, that should be providing something. So he's going to come over here um, and try to help us out. Um, it is really, really cold in here. Savannah's trying to light a fire, and I'm trying to, I was telling her the things that some tips he gave me just to see before we even got here if we could make it work better. But it is so cold, and I just want to go back into the camper and... <laughs> Turn the heat all the way on. Today we're going to try to put two windows in on this wall. Um, I think the last video we were doing, um, we were trying to put up some things in here to try to contain the heat in the space and that didn't work. We have some, all the reflectives that we had left over, we did put that up. Um, we're just going to leave it up because it's not in the way right now. One of our neighbors came over yesterday and he's lived up here for 25 years, I believe. Um, and so he, he's been using a wood stove for a very long time and he was like, let's look at your wood stove. You should be able to heat your space. He was shocked at how tiny our wood stove was. Um, but he seemed to be hopeful for when we got this place insulated. So we're just going to be moving forward. We have made a list of four things we need to do in order to get, be able to move into here. So first we're going to get all of our windows and doors in. We went to Nashville and picked up our last, um, door and window that we had there. And then after that, we will be running our electricity wires, then we'll be putting our insulation in, and then we'll be covering all the insulation up. So, um, we still have snow on the ground here, but it is warmer today. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this um, wall cut out. And the reason we want to start over here is because that's where most of the sun comes in. So we're hoping that that's going to help. Um, kind of bring some heat in here because right now we're just keeping all the cold in like there's no nothing we're not getting anything beneficial from the sun so we're going to get those windows in um hopefully that'll we'll check that off today if we get crazy and we think that that wasn't that big of a deal maybe we'll do some more windows i don't know these are the two windows and we're going to put them together so it looks like one big window right in the center and this is where the kitchen is going to be so we're going to make sure that it's raised up off of the counter so um kind of in this space and then another task that really needs to be uh, accomplished today is covering up these vents that they put in here um they just put those in because this is technically a shed and you need vents in your shed so we have one here one all the way over there and we need to close those up. And then there's some spaces up here. You can see where the daylight's coming in and we really need to seal those up too. So we have a can of great stuff foam and we're gonna try to kind of spray that up there to seal those edges off. And in the spring, we will be addressing um, our ridge vent, which are the shed, they don't make them like that. So we have to put our own in and that's going to help with moisture, um, and airflow in the roof itself. So we're not too worried about sealing it off too much in here because it's cold right now. We're going to be burning the wood stove and that's going to be burning off any, um, humidity. And before we get started, I am going to light the wood stove up because it is so cold in here. And even though it doesn't warm up the entire space, um, you can get right on it and like warm your hands up and stuff like that. I think that's, 
a nice thing to have um, when you're working in the cold. So I'm going to light that up and then start rounding up the tool so we can cut a hole over there. and just go over it if you need to. Maybe not that video, that's very hot. <laughs> so then I don't eat her grilled cheese like this and it's crazy. Gotta dip it. I just alternate from eating grilled cheese, tomato soup. I, I don't do the dipping thing, I'm not into it. All right, we have our window framed out. There's gonna be two windows. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it is not great. <laughs> I hope that we do better on the windows going forward <laughs> and we'll have windows may not be straight i don't know <laughs> they may be as long as the windows up front are straight and beautiful we can maybe make the front I, I, it's not that it's like not super straight but if you saw what it's I not saw, perfection it's not pretty it's a good thing that we are getting the practice in on the side wall but this is the wall that lets the most sun in, so might arguably be the most important window. So we're about to cut a hole in the wall, and it's dark outside, so this should be interesting. Should we? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, we have one window cut, and our battery died. Hi, Serena. Um, but Casey is fixing that problem right now. And we're getting closer to our windows over here. It's kind of crazy how small it looks on the side of the house. Um, definitely glad we're gonna have two there. But it looks, I feel like, much bigger inside the house. But anyway, curious to see what it's gonna look like. What do you think of our new windows? I'm very excited. I also, we, we bought four of those initially to put in the front of the house and I'm, we then decided, oh, maybe they were too small and want to do bigger. And I'm really glad that we got bigger ones because that is good for what they are, but not good for the four front windows. Yep, it looks pretty good. It will be a while until we get to do the inside trim and all that stuff. Um, even the outside trim, we'll probably do that uh, shortly, I feel like, like pretty soon. Yeah. Um, but we're not gonna do it tonight and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So hopefully we've sealed them enough so that it doesn't rain in here. Uh, but two windows down, how many more? Five more to go and a door. Yeah. Five more to go. 